to the vlog. Today we're doing some sneaker photography. It's like the second video I've done. Done one a couple months ago. It's gonna be a better one, hopefully. But we're gonna shoot this one with film camera, so that should be dope. Maybe we should do like lighter colors in the summer, so like white. Okay. So you could do these definitely. Right. Do our Tyler's a sneaker hoarder. Oh, yeah, check under the bed, I bro. mean, I, I ain't even look. See, I was looking at the closet, but under the bed is like a whole hall of fame of like <laughs> and very much usable shoes, too. All right, nothing's dirty. Not a so, how long, not a how long you been a sneaker there. hoarder? Would you say four or five years? Yeah, you probably got some in the basement, too. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Or like I'm carrying like three Jordans so, or whatever. We drove around for a couple of minutes. Uh, sometimes you can't find a good location, honestly. I don't I didn't know where to go. I didn't plan anything, but real photographers, I guess, figure it out because anything could be considered art or whatever. I don't know. So <laughs> we felt this drop bin where they put clothes for goodwill or whatever. And we're gonna shoot some photos on there and then probably where they put the carts at for the market over there. But yeah, just find some place, shoot it, and you know, it'll work, so. Oh yeah, if you haven't seen yet, this is the whole case that I carry with my Leica because these cameras are super expensive, so. so we'll put time in. Everything that's important takes time. Special shoes because the guy that designed this from Philly, right? King Saladin. Like King Saladin Diodora collab. They were only released at the Sheltonham Foot Locker. Just, uh, I just noticed this little patch of beautiful little flowers outside this physical therapy building. So take a couple right here before we switch to the next outfit but I think it'll be cool because he's wearing like a, a lighter lime green compared to like grass green I guess I don't know what kind of green that is so yeah some more film because we were running out they just discontinued this film and I'm going to check it out because I want to see why would they discontinue some film called gold I mean I assume that is great but it could be ass I don't know I never shot with it so we're about to take some photos with this but we got to finish the last couple shots I think we got like four or five more shots on there and we're gonna switch over to this but yeah they just discontinued this I got it for nine dollars if you know the world that we live in it's $9 down, but in a couple weeks, it's probably going to be like 40 something dollars. So if you can get your hands on some of this, go get it ASAP. You'll need it. Discontinued film, first one of many. Probably going to be all sold out by the time I get this developed. But Uh. 
Uh, we interrupt this broadcast and this video is brought to you by this great ass lime drink. Yaritos. It makes you do push ups, leg up, clappers. <laughs> Fitness boot camp coming soon. Quad air fit. I do. You can get a body just like his for $9.99 a month. I weigh $140. No. Yeah, alright. <laughs> <laughs> <like>, no. <laughs> Apparently there's a rule if you shoot with Leica when you first get your Leica camera, like you have to get a picture of yourself. So I haven't really done that yet. So I'm gonna try to get it if I can get a good shot of me, but I wanna use like a good mirror. I don't wanna like use like a window or sorts. I don't wanna, that, that just seems corny. All right, so actually these are the stairs that I was talking about. Yeah, those are the stairs, so we're gonna go over there go up there actually I think you just walk right up which is like pretty cool because this is like a really good location switched up the gear again let's get it Film location, excellent. You can take some photos, see all this shit. There's still, sometimes I still get like a little like weirded out taking photos without like you know, like being able to see them when they're done. So I can't correct the exposure or none of that. So I had to go off of what I would think would be best. Uh, good thing about computers, we can like fix that. But I kind of like to keep as much of the original photo with its film at least as possible. So I don't want to like, you know, do too much with the color and the brightness and the, you know, exposure. Exposure I'll mess with because sometimes it's a little overexposed or underexposed. But like other than that, I don't want to like touch it too much, you know, so. Yeah, so without light meter, it's kind of hard. Ah! <laughs> oh, you got here. See, this is like a perfect spot <laughs> to practice opera. Whoa, it's always gonna sound good every time. Right now, we're checking out those rooftop views. Views. Whoa. Uh, I mean, uh, it's that stop sign. Now we're at a parking lot. That'll be dope. Let's flash these photos. Don't try this at home. Oh, oh my God. Dead. Done. Pancake. The things you do for a photo. Woo. I mean, you can't be scared of heights being up here. I'm about to throw up. Gotta love these dope shots. Ah. So, somebody left the gate open and we actually made it inside here. Chalk, is it silver? In like a real silver box? And you're not doing anything. Oh well. 
let's get the fuck out of here.